Welcome everyone to another episode of Control Group. We join the boys, Jack, Nate, and Robocop in Meteor Res. They've learned a lot tonight, that there's a parallel universe layered on top of theirs, that there are real monsters out in the world. Can these boys stop the Uber before the zenith of the full moon? Let's find out on another episode of It Came from Lake Mary. jokes <laughs> no jokes at all sonny <laughs> yeah, don't you have any secret jokes you know some skeletons in your closet <laughs> 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 i like this one <laughs> what, what, what are why what are you why what is happening <laughs> uh miss vanessa kind of cuts in um mr bones and i were associates we used to be hunters together oh well kind of like a bonnie and clyde but only one died. Yeah, I used to have... Uh, Until one day, a scientist found you, and he's like, that would look good in my science class, and he just strung you up on the little pole. No, uh, he just sold his body to science. No, but I used to be a human, much like the rest of you. Is this what happens when you die? Uh, oh my god! Oh, this is what happens when you mess up a big spell, boys. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> was, it, was it involving fire? Oh, no, no, no. It was, uh, it's a long story. We'll get into it at another time. Oh, okay. Well, I hear my mom say a lot of things about, like, Jump in your bones a lot, so maybe that's this is what that is. Your yeah. mom says. Did you jump out your bones? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they were ripped away from me by a demon. Oh. Yeah, you you're right. We will talk about that later. Uh, anyways, Mrs. We just fought an ooh bear, so we know. Oh, a thing. what a nasty one! I know those ones yeah. quite well. It yeah. wasn't really an ooh, more like an ooh dog. It, it yeah, wasn't it was made out dog. of bears. Mm. Franken dog is a way better name. Yeah, yeah. Franken dog. Jack, Jack got it right. What's right, her name? Just rename it Frankendog. Miss, Miss Vanessa, <laughs> what else can we do? Um, she takes the board you have all of your uh, mysteries written on and she flips it around so there's a blank side. Thank you. And then <laughs> she she takes one of the markers. Um, this is traditionally where we plan. We need to make up a plan. We're going to go back in that forest. Uh, we need to capture this thing or get rid of it. That's so what do we know it. about this Yeah, what's your book say? Dog? Um, he doesn't like... He doesn't like being split in two, like most people, and he doesn't like fire, like most people. <laughs> I'm pretty neutral on fire. I think it's kind of cool. Dude, what, Nate, if you were burning alive, are you telling me that's fun for you? It'd be, it'd be better than drowning. Well, most things are better than drowning, Nate. Robocop, you're the brains, right? What do you think we should do? <laughs> I'm Why did you say that? I'm <laughs> yeah, and the muscle, but... <laughs> What are you talking? No, okay, okay, hold on. You know what, Nate? What do you think we should do? Um, I, if if it has like a layer, if this thing is like, if it needs, you know, a place that it goes back to, I don't know if it does, because it's just a combination of lots of different things, so maybe it doesn't have a home. But if it has a home, I'm assuming it's gonna be some kind of cold, damp place. Um, in which case, if it's like in a cave or something, we could just light that cave up. Oh my God, this is just like Spider Man. Part of it's gonna want to go back to its home at Darnell's place, right? Oh, you think that all the dogs? Are still in there somewhere? Yeah, they have to be. Oh, so maybe we shouldn't burn it, because then we'll kill all the dogs at the same time. That would be really sad. Oh, yeah. And, then people, and Darnell is not going to forgive us for that. Maybe we just don't tell Darnell. No, we shouldn't do it. I think we right, should. so if fire's not an option, what else can we do to it? It's just splitting it up? I don't know what that even means, though. We have to get rid of all the black goo. Well, yeah. So, if we can't burn down the forest, that's a bad idea. Right. We can't burn down Miss Vanessa's house. That's also a bad idea. She said, she said, said no. Very bad idea. She said, she said no. What if we wait till Darnell's not home and we burn down Darnell's house? Let's okay, not Jack, burn anything down. What do you, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> We'd have 
to, we have to, uh, maybe if we use fire, we don't have to bring anything down, but we could at least make the goo try and like move away from it, right? And if, if, if we, if we use the fire, we could make the goo try and like run away from the dogs and then the dogs will like reform into their like normal bodies. Oh, you're talking about like when, when you put like, uh, you know, like glue in a microwave and then like the, the glue like kind of bubbles up and then like turns into like not glue. Yeah, and like unseals, and then we could take the things out. And we have, we should find like the Darnell's dog's favorite toy or something. Something that'll make it want to leave and come toward that. Oh, I see what you're saying. We're just general dog stuff, right? Yeah, really anything <laughs> for dogs. <laughs> I say we go to 7 Eleven, we pick up snacks, <sighs> then we head to Darnell's house. Oh, well, okay. I guess we can go 7 Eleven. My sister's still on ships. I, I'm so sorry. We do not have time for this. I don't. Think I, time for I, don't ex- I did not express this. We need to get this done soon. <laughs> As I mentioned, us dark and feed off the moon. Okay. Your moon is a little bit more powerful. Maybe if you guys haven't paid attention to the moon cycle, it is a full moon tonight. Okay, well, Miss Vanessa, I'm hungry, so what are we going to do? <laughs> we can't go to 7-Eleven. Don't you have stuff in your backpack from earlier? Uh, I guess I have more fruit leather. <laughs> All right, so... So we're gonna, what you're saying, we're gonna put the monster in a microwave? I don't get it. No, we gotta like corner it with fire, right? I don't and think then, you're the brains anymore. <laughs> we gotta like co- get corner it, you know, quarantine it, and we'll like p- poke it with like torches or something. And then, and then it'll start to like split apart, and then we'll just grab that dog and we'll pull it out of there. Yeah, because the goo's gonna wanna get away from this, but the dogs, we can try and, I don't know, make it go, make them go in different directions. Why don't we do it here? We can do it here. Do you it here in the in the basement? Yeah. We could do that, right? As long as it's yes. safe. We have the key. We have your key. It's it's probably still sitting at Miss Vanessa's house. Are you attempting to burn down the school? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to get a grasp of this. Uh, the way. fire alarm's gonna go off and it's gonna get rid of the fire. Oh uh, no. I think I can use I think I think sta- I think you guys have the basis of a very good plan. I just want you to solidify it. Uh, I enjoy the quarantining. I have truly been letting you teenagers run this, <laughs> me as a professional hunter. Uh, I wanted to see where you guys at were on oh, a yeah. level. Well, this is, you've done this a lot. What, yeah, truly. Wait, this, this is our planet. Wait, so. is there, what, I'm saying if we do it in the basement, what, is it, is there wood down here? Is there, is there a sprinkler system in the basement? Let's not trap it in here, because if we can't stop the fire, then we're stuck in like a basement with fire. Did, did Batman ever bring his, his, his people to his base? No. They just kind of showed up. Because they swam through the sewer system. Okay. Then did we... Robocop? No, he didn't. I don't think. Robocop brought the fight to them. My dad said it's too... My mom said it's too violent a movie, so I can't watch Robocop. Yeah, the opening's crazy, dude. They killed the shit out of this guy. Okay. <laughs> All right. Guys, I'm, I'm going to ra- I'm gonna rope us in here. I'm going to rope it. Let's see. It's like a pun. Oh, thank God. From, from earlier. Um, we need to burn something down and trap it in it. Because that thing was huge, right? Are you trying to kill all the dogs? We're trying not to kill the dogs in the process. Dude, we, those dogs are dead. No, they're not. Those, those no, dogs think, are dead. I think we can put both plans together. A perimeter of fire to trap the beast so it does not get away. And then you guys can make sure you split the, the Uber off of the dog. Okay, but where? You guys have information to, like about the dogs, correct? Yeah. You guys are mystery solvers. It's in my book. Yeah. Good. But it, it says the weakness was splitting apart and fire. For the goo, not for the dogs. We can't save the dogs. They gotta be dead. Mr. We're saving they dead? As long as you make a perimeter, it should be fine. As long as you're not lighting the dogs on fire, you oh, should be fine. Oh, okay. I understand what's happening now. <laughs> We've explained it like 17 fucking times. <laughs> so we're, let's do it in the parking lot outside. Okay. So Once then, again, this is in the middle of town. No, I, We cannot bring this thing out of the forest. That's true. Uh, but I, but we, I don't want to light me if the tree's on fire. <laughs> Where's we going to get kindling for the fire in the first place? Okay, I guess we'll just try and not let it touch any of the trees. Don't you have like some kind of like water spell or some ice spell? I don't know. I don't even know if I have a fire spell. You've got a lightning spell, though. That's how we could light the fire in the forest. I have a lightning spell? Yeah, <laughs> dude, you're a lightning leech. What are you talking about? <laughs> Do you not have that? What are you talking? I've never used magic before. What are you talking about? I know you. I've seen you use your magic. So I should I should use like a lightning thing? Yes, you should. Okay. To do what? <laughs> just, just 
to light the fire in the forest if you strike. Okay, that's a controlled burn. Yes. <gasps> Wait, that's a real spell, like with lightning. I mean, if you call, if you can conjure lightning, if you can conjure lightning, and if it were to hit the tinder of the forest, the the forest where we are was prepped for a controlled burn. Okay. <gasps> They could start a fire. We could kill two birds with one stone. Literally the goo and the infected forest. And we'll do good to our community. <laughs> <That's> true. <laughs> we can stop a real fire from happening. All right. Let's go back and make a perimeter around the Uber with fire so that it's trapped. And then we have to have something to bait the dogs away from where the goo's going to go. Is that, is that good, Miss Vanessa? Is that yeah, a good fight? Yeah, that is something. You Just know what would be really good to bait the dogs is a bunch of bones. Yes. Looks at Mr. Bones. <laughs> oh. Wow. All right. I'm going straight to that. Um, no, I guess, um, yeah, you could take me along. Um, I just need my head truly to talk. So, I mean, if you could just snap off my cranium, I could fit inside little dork boy's backpack. Hey, shut up. It's Robocop. Yeah. Get in my backpack. <laughs> We're going to bring Mr. Bones' skull, and he's going to be what the, but with the dog's going. No, we'll bring everything but his skull. <laughs> So that they, they don't kill him. But I want to hear him talk. Yeah, I wanted to go on. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Essek, you can carry his head. All right. Um, and as you guys, you guys can't hear this. This is only for the listeners. Uh, but Miss Vanessa goes up to Mr. Bones, and Mr. Bones quietly says, "Wow, a real ragtag group you've got there." Um, and she says, "Well, we'll have to do." Um, as she takes the skull um, and begins heading back up the stairs. All right, use your key magic, magic boy. Right. I'll try and focus on my magic key. All right. Um, Things have escalated so quickly today. <laughs> Roll for weird. Actually, can't it, like, just take us here? <laughs> <laughs> she closed the door behind you, which stopped the spell. Oh, shit. Ten. Oh, oh very nice. Um, yeah, you hold your hands around the key as Miss Vanessa holds it. Uh, your hands glow white. Uh, the key glows white. Miss Vanessa then puts the key back into the door and opens it up uh, back to Miss Vanessa's house. Um, but a more derelict, a um, lot more debris on the ground as the Uber has seemed to have bitten through a large hole in the roof and kind of fallen in there. Um, but as you can see, there is a large... Um, break in the windows in front of Miss Vanessa's house as the Uber has escaped through there. Wait, hang on. Before we move any further, I realize I dropped my nunchucks earlier, and I need to go grab them. Nate, can I borrow your flashlight? Let's... After! <laughs> yeah, let's do that after. I feel like we're gonna have to run after, so I wanna grab them now. Since the door is currently a portal to the basement, I'm gonna climb out the window to get outside. <laughs> yeah. Or she could just... As you climb out of the broken glass window... <laughs> Um, Miss Vanessa closes the door and then reopens it, so now it leads back outside. Um, she kind of just shakes her head dismissively. Uh, as you guys head into the depths of the forest, uh, you guys can hear growling. Um, the growling is deeper, almost stronger, if you will. Uh, more base to it. Um, what do you guys do to find this? We have to bait. You have to bait the Uber back with more of your leather. The fruit, fruit leather didn't it didn't do shit. It didn't do shit last <laughs> it time. It totally came over here from like five miles away. <sighs> yeah, but that's because it could smell the fear off of us. Okay, then everyone just be really scared. Uh, uh, okay. Does everyone have some kind of way to light fire? You, dude, you do. I've seen the shit that you do. All right, it's not a secret anymore, man. I try to keep it a secret because I know. You're you're really insecure about it, but I've seen you do magic before, and I know you can do it. What are you talking about? I've seen you do it before. What did I do? You you play with lightning, and it's like in between your fingers. And I thought I'm like, oh, that's a lot of static electricity, <laughs> but it's not static electricity, dude. It can't be. There's no way. Yeah, no. I just thought you weren't doing laundry properly, like you weren't putting in like the you know the dryer sheet. But I mean, I, if. If we're saying that you're magic, then, like, that's that's a good evidence. You guys are wrong, okay? That's, that's, that's... <laughs> okay, I, I, I magicked one key once, okay? That doesn't mean I can suddenly do all this weird stuff. I mean, I don't think I could magic a key. Robocop, yeah. can you magic a key? No, you <laughs> have, like, mind power, she said. The only magic thing I can do is show my love and affection for everybody else here. 
So you need to oh. use your real magic right now, the stuff that's going to light this forest on fire. Okay, everybody grab a branch, and I'm going to try and light them on fire. Yeah, and we're going to save those dogs. Pointedly, <laughs> Robocop. All right, perfect. Everyone <laughs> grabs a be- uh, branch. Uh, Miss Vanessa comes up a little bit after you guys. Uh, she went and got a pouch from her. I swear to God, she just went and got something real quick. Yeah, she went and got got a bag real quick. Uh, She puts uh, Mr. Bones' skull in the bag. Um, And then she also grabs a branch. Um, We should get one of those, like, things that you put cats in. A little, like, bubble. Yeah. Like, like shield bubble that we put cats in and put Mr. Bones in there. Alright, Jack. uh, Roll to use magic. Okay. I'm going to think about lightning between my fingers. Mm -hmm. And secretly, like, I have seen that, but I was like, that's crazy, there's no way. And I'm going to think about when I tried to turn the light off and it would not work. <laughs> and other weird stuff that's happened to me. Seven. Ooh, all right. Mixed success. All right. Where are you going? It works imperfectly. <laughs> Choose your effect and a glitch. So your effect is that you're summoning lightning. With a glitch. It has a problematic side effect. Alright, so how are you conjuring this lightning, Jack? I'm gonna try and, um, just like I'm doing... Firebending? <laughs> yeah, no, well, yeah, like my, my hand is open yeah. into like a sphere. And I just, like, try and throw it like I'm throwing a baseball, almost. All right, so you make your first throw. Uh, Lightning is conjured. You do throw it at everyone who's holding up their branches. Uh, Unfortunately, the lightning ball just does not stop in its path as it does hit a tree. Um, And as you notice, all of the branches are on fire, and now this tree is beginning to catch blaze. Oh, Jack, no! (laughs) Oh, that was so cool, but it's so bad! Oh, no! Dude, I knew it! I knew it! I've seen you do okay. it before. Okay, we need to we need to work fast before this whole place. Oh goes my up. god! <laughs> uh, and as you guys can see, the kind of light of the fly, the fire, and the full moon. How did you do uh, that? Um, it's kind of illuminating. You can see about thirty feet out. You see the Uber approach, and it is much larger than. Yeah, it no? is like a very large bear size now. It seems to have picked up a couple more coyotes and wolves in the middle of the night while you guys were away. Um, that was quick. Yeah. Um, it seems to have gotten a pack of a different kind of dog. As you guys are kind of noticing, dogs, it's not the shape of a dog anymore. Other dog heads are beginning to branch out. It's like, like the, the side of it, yeah. Um, paws, are, sense. <laughs> paws are beginning to burst out of the black goo itself, kind of surrounding the thing as it's growl- growling and watching all of you. Luckily, the fire starting to catch around uh, some of the controlled burn area. So now there's a bit semi-circle. Um, and the only way out is the beast getting through the four of you. All right. It's only got one way to go. And that's through us and the fire that Jack started. No. <laughs> Dude, you need to use more lightning. And if you can, make a circle with it? We all have... Branches with fire on them. Let's just stand oh, in a circle. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> you see, he still doesn't understand so the kind of <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I'm going to go run and light my branch on fire. It's already on fire. Oh, it's already on fire? That's what yeah. I was trying to do. God damn it. Okay. I thought it I thought it lit the branches on fire of the tree that fell. Also that. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> well, that's perfect. All right, um, well, then I, we need to flank the thing. Let's, let's flank it. All right. You guys kind of circle around it, watching as the beast kind of tries to back up, but there's fire behind it because of the controlled burn now. Um, And it kind of heads towards you guys. It kind of understands that, like, you're the only thing stopping it. And it sees, it kind of understands its size versus your guys' diminutive size. Oh my god, I can see it learning (laughs) and thinking. And as it's growling, the growling more guttural, deeper as it goes around, it doesn't seem to know how to bark. Guys, check your notes. What's the name of Darnell's dog? Oh, shoot. Uh, uh, oh, it was uh, <laughs> Pippin, like Lord of the Rings. Okay. Do you guys remember anything about all the other dogs? How many were there, actually? There was between seven and 
12. <laughs> really? That's a lot of dogs. Okay, just say a random dog name, I guess. We'll, we'll all try to have them go to, uh, to different people. Pippin. Thaddeus. Pippin, come on. Come on, Pippin. Rover? Uh, you notice the bees kind of stutter. Um, oh, Pippin was working. It's a more It's more of a, it's a dog move. You notice it's stalking you before it kind of looked like prey predator. But as you mentioned, Pippin, it kind of, the two front legs kind of jet out a little. Muffin! C- come on, Pippin, and I, like, s- s- I smack my thighs. Like, Daisy! Pippin. You guys... Mr. T! You guys realize a tail kind of whip out from behind the Uber. Uh, it starts shaking a little. You do notice there is a head of a dog on the end of the tail. Oh my god. But the tail is wagging back and forth. Is it? Is it Pippin? Is, it, is there a pimple on the end of that tail? <laughs> there is! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, Pippin's on the tail. Okay. Um, so, I, I'm gonna run towards it. And you guys need to go all the way around it. I'm gonna hit it in this face with my fucking nunchucks. And you guys gotta go around. I swear to god. You gotta do this. You probably don't have to attack the dogs. We're just gonna go, like, poke it out with the fire. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hit the goo. I wanna hit the goo, not the, not the dogs. Okay, yeah. just don't yeah. light it on fire. Just scare the goo. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm, I'm gonna go wave my, I'm gonna go wave my, uh, the fire yeah. in front of it. You guys run around. So oh, you're distract- distracted. Oh, yeah, I'll distract it. No, there we go. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I, had to, I had to talk it out first. I had yeah, to talk it go. out. Okay, go for it. Earn your name, okay. Robocop. Okay, I'm going to go, I'm going to run towards the dog and start going, hey. I'll hey. go on the, the right side. The dog kind of sobers up a little bit. Um, it goes back into its more beast-like mode. Um, and does. It's going beast mode. It's going beast mode. He gets super jacked. Um, and he begins stalking towards you. Come on. Uh, Robocop. Come on, Pippin. Hey, Pippin! And as that's going on, he's whipped towards the left, towards Jack. Oh, yeah, uh, boy. But it keeps on walking oh, yeah, your boy. way. But his head keeps on jerking to the left. And so, so I keep, I keep moving him towards me so that Nate can go all the way around him, behind him, so the dog doesn't know. I'll, and I'll be like face to face with the the tail. <laughs> Pippin! Oh, you see Pippin, Pippin! Pippin! His eyes are dead when you first see him. They're just glazed over. They're large dog eyes. But as you single tear down, single like tear comes down. <laughs> um, but as you mentioned, Pippin, his eyes kind of come alive, uh, and he begins breathing. Oh God, this is horrible. Pippin, <laughs> hey, is that another dog? And like go to one of the other heads, and I'm like, who are you? Who are you, Kuba? Kuba. Uh, it's still, it kind of. Uh, no, it branches out um, as you're getting close to it, and it's going to whip you uh, kind of with its large head and push you. You don't take any harm, but you do stumble back quite okay. a way. Um, so you're poking at it with the fire. Oh, shit. Um, act under pressure. <laughs> uh, oh, that was oh, good. Damn. Yeah. Uh, that was a legend. All right. Um, as you begin poking with fire, uh, Pippin's eyes go dead once again. Uh, and the Uber completely whips around, trying to do the same thing it did to Jack to you. Uh, luckily, you kind of duck in just the nick of time. Um, but unfortunately, the fire is getting much worse. Uh, the tree above you um, is burning quite heavily um, as a log, a kind of large branch of the tree, falls down on top of you. I mean, no. Yeah. Um, Come on, Master. I know all that for helpful. You, you can't let it bloody go. <laughs> 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 bloody go. Um, as it falls on you, it doesn't hurt, Nate. Like, it definitely should. This thing weighs about a good 100, 120 yeah, pounds. Yeah, I, I, like, I closed my eyes, saw my life flash before my eyes, saw those weird dreams. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There is a moment you kind of feel water in your lungs, and it doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> uh, as the tree falls on you, um, you take to harm, but you ignore it because of some kind of magical armor. Um, and now you're just kind of struggling with this tree on top of you. I'm surprisingly okay! Nice. <laughs> Sick man. <laughs> uh, Miss Vanessa, at this time, uh, is going to pull something out of her little tote bag. Uh, and she Mr. Bones! <laughs> uh, you see Mr. Bones for a second, his head, his skull just kind of pops up, and he's like, oh, what's going on? <laughs> um, and she pulls out a repeater crossbow. Um, I, I'm going to protect you, I swear to God. Um... Please don't hate me. I need to at least push this back a little bit as she begins firing bolts uh, into the Uber itself. Miss Vanessa, could we just open it up by force? If we just all grab a different dog head and just split him, will that work? There are so many dogs. I think your plan is working, but I'm afraid 
Your friend is under an on fire tree branch. It's right okay. Now. I'm good. I'm okay. good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna run over and try and pull him out. <laughs> okay, you work over. Um, do, do what you a gotta do. Tough roll. All right. Ten. Ten. All right. So you you kind of look at Nate as you begin lifting this on fire log. Nate seems really unperturbed about it all. Like you kind of watched it fall on him, and you're worried about your friend. But Nate's just like. God, I should have got out of the way. I should, I should have known about the tree. That was dumb of me. I'm sorry. I should have used to trust me. I should have told him the truth to get him out of danger. Dude, you're okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Just get it. Just look. It's heavy. Are you on fire or anything? And I, like, look him I over. I think so. Uh, you, you kind of lift up the log together, and yeah, there are burn marks all over his clothes, but he's under, you can kind of see, like, his stomach and no burn marks. This is going to be hard to explain to my mom. She, she, she said, like, you know, do whatever, but, like, like no fire. So, like, I don't know. Um, am I still waving uh, <laughs> these the fucking branches? You are. Yeah, it's kind of distracted. <laughs> it's not paying attention to you. It's kind of was looking at them, and now it's looking at Miss Vanessa, who's just like doing cool matrix loops and jumps around as she shoots the Uber with her repeater crossbow. Okay. What's what's going on with Miss Vanessa? Is she killing this thing? What's going on? Uh, she's here? putting good bolts into it, but it does. It just seems to be pissing the Uber off. All right. I'm going to I'm gonna throw my branch at it. I'm going to throw my fire branch at it. All right. It is now trained on you. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna pick my fire branch up, um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna wave it around some more. It comes barreling towards you. Um, we're gonna do an oops, real quick. <laughs> I think we already did an oops. <laughs> uh, is I want to stumble across something important, maybe. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. okay. Um, as you're waving it kind of vi- vicariously, um, your bag is open, um, and one of your the binders you take notes in falls out of your bag. Oh no. Oh god. You look at this binder, it's open to a page. It's all the information you took from Darnell. Oh my god. Um, um, what does it say on the page? You're kind of reading through all this stuff about Pippin and everything. As this thing is barreling through. <laughs> yeah, as it is barreling towards you. Uh, and you see hastily written in quotes in your own handwriting. You see, fuck it, we ball. <laughs> oh my god, that's right! Oh my god, that's right! Pippin! Fuck it, we ball! As the Uber is barreling towards you, its claws grip into the ground to come to a complete halt. Um, as it begins staring you down, uh, the growling kind of ceases and the breathing turns into a normal dog panting. Oh. Uh, as he kind of gets lower on the ground with his hind air, his derriere in the air, uh, as he begins waving his tail around. Oh my god, uh, okay, um... Can we, we, we can pull Pippin out. Yes, we can we pull Pippin out. Grab him. Okay, I, I'm going to grab Pippin by, by his ears. I'm going to help. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm going to grab by him by his, his head. head. By his head. By his head. I'm going to pull him by his head. <laughs> okay, you grab Pippin, and both of you begin pulling on Pippin. As you kind of, you feel the string of the black goo kind of holding on tightly. Uh, but as this fire is getting progressively worse, um, the goo is kind of, it's, it's not bubbling, but it's trying to reach out for something, kind of air that isn't smoke right now. Smack it! Um, yeah, and as you guys continue to pull, it seems too distracted with its own well-being, and it completely lets go of Pippin. Oh my god, okay. We've got Pippin. <laughs> we got Pippin! As you kind of continue going, the black goo is kind of pushing itself further and further, and a couple more dogs are loosed from the beast itself. Grab the dogs! I'm gonna grab one of the dogs and hold up and point home to Mr. Vanessa and be like, Oh god! We got a dog! <laughs> please, I need you guys, please get out of the forest. I can I can deal with getting the rest of the dogs, but I need you guys to be safe. Alright, uh, let's use your key. What about the fire? I, uh, there's nothing we can do about the fire at this point. <laughs> okay, each of us grab a dog and then run to Miss Vanessa's house. <laughs> two as, dogs you through, the as you guys begin running towards the underbrush, the entire underbrush, so this literal wall of fire is in front of you. Oh my god. Okay. I'm, oh, no. Let's get out of here. I'm going to use my let's get out of here this time. Perfect. 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 Well, guys, guys, I think this is the end of Enigma Incorporated. No, it's not. Shut up. We're getting out of here. Oh man. You I, always say that. I said 10. It's a 10. All right. How are you getting out of there? Uh, we're going to we're going to run the opposite way, run towards the road. All right. There's got to be a road somewhere. Yeah, there you guys you essentially you're surrounded by fire. Um, but you guys all kind of look to RoboCop as he says, let's get out of here. Um, and as RoboCop is scanning, um, essentially the fire breaks for a second. A tree kind of falls, and the fire itself makes a little oh, path yeah. for you that you guys can run through. 
Okay. Yeah, it, let's go through there, right through that. <laughs> oh, that's actually a good idea this time. <laughs> God damn it. Let's go. You guys run through that little path um, as Miss Vanessa is fast behind you with a couple of dogs in her arms. Um, as you guys get to a safe distance in the road watching the fire, um, Miss Vanessa goes, okay, I'll go and try to get the rest of the dogs if I can. Uh, I need you guys to stay here. Um, and as Miss Vanessa runs back in, uh, you guys hear another tree collapse and then another tree collapse. Um, and the pathway that led you guys out of the fire has now closed off. Oh, no! She's not going to be able to get out of there! You guys, I have to stop this. The fire is all because of me. What I'm are you going to do? I'm going to use force of will. Okay. Which is usually for dispelling a magical effect. This oh. is technically a magical effect. It's so a glitch of your magic. I'm going to try a magic fire. And roll weird to, like, I don't know, like, get rid of all the fire if I can or just as much as I can. That's especially in her way. Yeah. Eight. Oh, perfect. That's a mixed success, I believe. It says, um, on a seven and nine, you take one harm as a strain of dis dis as a strain of dismissing magic unravels you. Oh, perfect. Um, so yeah, this is your temptation is magic itself, um, and you're kind of biting into this temptation. Um, so as you immediately after doing a pretty big spell, your first really big spell of lighting the branches on fire, uh, I guess you're maybe holding your arms out to the air. Yeah. Um, and as you guys watch uh, the kind of clouds circling the San Francisco peaks suddenly quickly move over from the peaks and down towards the forest in a hurry. Something's uh, happening. As, Something's <laughs> happening. As the clouds get closer and closer, uh, they begin to darken up. Um, as it is now one large rain cl cloud, as it begins raining on all of the northern part of Flagstaff. And this rain comes down in a quick flurry, a quick pour, uh, as the fire begins to die down. Okay, let's get these dogs out of here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you head back in there, and then you take one harm from the strain of <laughs> rain making. Dude. Jack, you okay? Dude, he's almost not okay. Uh, as you guys head back into the forest... Um, you can see the scorch marks of the fire. It gets tighter and tighter. Um, you guys can't really see uh, Miss Vanessa as all of these trees have kind of collapsed into burned, charred husks of themselves. No! Uh, Miss Vanessa! Nothing calls back. M Mr. Bones? No! no. <laughs> <laughs> you hear a muffled, oh! Uh, bar! 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 Oh my god, let's go get Mr. Bones. I'm gonna put the key in the door to activate the, try and activate the magical portal or whatever. You're gonna run back to the house and then... Are we at the house or... No, you're in the middle, you're off, you're a couple, you're like half a mile away. Damn, okay. Yeah. You're essentially just there looking amongst the rest wreckage, but you can definitely tell where the muffled voice is coming from. Let's grab Van Miss Vanessa and get out of here. Yeah, is she, is she <laughs> dead? Can't where is she? Her. Dude, Fo she's... Find Mr. Bones, find, find, keep, keep calling Mr. Bones. <laughs> He's, he's, he's just in the house. Did we just leave him in the house? No, she, he's in the bag. He's in her bag. Well, yeah, but oh, 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 oh. Okay, all right, let's go. Let's... Eventually, you guys get closer to the noise. I would hope. Yes. Uh, you guys push a charred tree trunk out of the way, and you see Miss Vanessa's bag. Uh, and as you kind of push the tree trunk, Mister Bones's skull rolls out. I pick it up. Where's Miss Vanessa? <laughs> um, he's, she's, his eye sockets move to indicate uh, she's just a little, a, a little bit further, boys. Point! <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you guys left the rest of my bones back at the school. I'm going to put her bag in my bag. We didn't even use them. We didn't even use them. Yeah, so she's just, you guys look to the left and you guys see uh, multiple trees kind of stacked on top of each other. No. We use them as a guide. And we're like, okay, is, is it hot or cold this way? Yeah, no, my eyes are, my eye sockets are fully animated. <laughs> I'm pointing with my eyes. Okay, you know? we, we follow you guys are not good at social cues yet. <laughs> Alright, we go in the direction. Yeah, of... you guys see a bunch of trees oh. all stacked up on top of each other. No, burnt trees no that have collapsed. This is no okay, good. I guess I have to put these dogs down. <laughs> Let's try and lift up these, these logs. You guys left the dogs back by the road. Oh, okay. They're just chilling there. Oh, but the car doesn't come. <laughs> Uh, that would suck. All right, well, let's go look we'll under the and... let's go look under the logs. Wait, guys, this might be the oh bear. We got. I don't know if it's dead. Mr. Bones says it's where Miss Vanessa is. I'm gonna lift this up. <laughs> Are you trying to kill us? <laughs> <laughs> um, there is like you 
can see that they've kind of made a little steeple, and there's just one log right in front of the steeple that's blocking access. So, Jack, as you go to move it, do the rest of you. Yeah, we'll help. All right, so you all move it. The trees all kind of shift in position. Mr. Cruz is um, And you can see that uh, Miss Vanessa is lying kind of at the bottom of all these charred trees. Um, and she has um, what seems to be a kind of blanket around the rest of the dogs. Um, but herself is unshielded. Oh, come here, come here, bo- come here boys. Come here, as come here, dogs. As all the dogs kind of move out of the little hut that's been made. Uh, Good Miss Vanessa is still kind of unmoving Good on the floor of the pups. forest. I'm going to take Miss Vanessa's pulse. I'm gonna s- I'm gonna investigate a mystery of her life. I don't know. You get close enough, it's fine. Uh, you get close enough, uh, you see that she is barely hanging on. She has very severe burns. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, boys. I thought I could I thought I could do it on my own for so long. I need you. I need you all to promise me. You'll make sure that if anything comes through to this side. You'll take care of it. Of course. But we can get you to the hospital. We can, we can go to the door. We can... Oh, no, it's, it's my time. Um, she reaches into her pocket. Um, she hands you her little barrette with the two feathers on it. Uh, is this going to turn me into an old lady? <laughs> nope. Those are, those are tokens specifically for the, uh, the dark, and those help us disguise ourselves around you. Oh, okay. M- Miss Vanessa, I, I used magic again. I, I, I stopped the forest fire. <coughs> I'm so very proud of you. Do you have any relatives we can tell about what happened? <coughs> no, no, no. Uh, Mr. Bones was probably the closest person to me in this plane. That's so sad. I'm sorry, Miss Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> right here, boys! Uh, still right here! <laughs> that, that's how we met! Uh. <laughs> um, oh, this is a cool image. This rain falling. Yeah, rain falling up the tree tom. Fucking smoke going up the tree. the trees. Uh, you guys, us three. Anything else you'd like to say to Miss Vanessa? Miss Vanessa, I said, "Fuck it, we bolt." And Robocop is out of town. She wasn't there for that. She oh, doesn't know what that means. Uh, <laughs> I'm proud. You guys, you guys defeated the ogre. I came back. Thank, Thank you for giving us this information. We'll hope to carry on your legacy. Do you have anything for me, Miss Vanessa? I already gave you a toe. <laughs> you gave him some feathers, but it's okay. It's fine. It's whatever. I'm sorry. Thanks. For all your help, Miss Vanessa. You're embarrassing us right now. I'm sorry. So sorry. <laughs> uh, you guys watch as Miss Vanessa slowly turns into ash herself. Oh, oh God. She begins <laughs> just kind of turning into silt in oh, front of you guys. Jack, what did your fire do? <laughs> oh, no. my God, dude. I think she magic burned. I think this is what happens to dark in when they die. Oh, that makes more sense. I'm sorry. How would you know that? We, I don't know. We have to we have to carry on Miss Vanessa's mission. To to kill more. Yeah, to stop whatever's coming in through the portal. All right. Also, we do we have a free house? Oh we gotta have a free house. Did it not? Did it burn down? No. I know you're you really wanted to, but no, it didn't. That could be our new our new base of operations, our clubhouse. We just got the basement though. We'll have both. Yeah. We can't have both because you got a key. Businesses have multiple locations in which they conduct business. Okay, well... And this is like our off-site location, okay. and then like our main office is the basement. Let's get these dogs out of here, you guys. Oh yeah, come here, folks. Yeah. Uh, as you guys are walking through, you do notice that there's considerable fire damage to Miss Vanessa's house from the burn. Um, eh, still. <laughs> Wait, I want to I wanna look inside Miss Vanessa's bag. See if there's anything in there. Yeah, there's the repeater crossbows. Um, there, there was Mr. Bones, but other than that, no, there's not too much in there. I'm gonna put the repeater crossbow in my bag. And we don't okay. see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, perfect. Um, These dogs smell terrible, by the way. <laughs> yeah, they smell like wet. Are there any? Are there any like bolts in the re- repeater yeah. crossbow? Yeah, got twenty bolts right in there. Robocop, hurry up, dude. Shut sh- sh- uh, uh, peeing. <laughs> what? While sitting down, dude. <laughs> uh, uh, occu- occupied, dude. It's occupied. You're out in the middle of the floor. That's, she just died there, dude. That's so fucked up. Dude, dude. you gotta, I don't control when you gotta go, dude. <laughs> As you guys walk out of the smolder of this section of the forest now, uh, the, re- the rain begins to die. Uh, Nate, you feel a burning in your pocket. Ow. Ow. You re- 
reach into your pocket and you pull out the little barrette that Miss Vanessa gave you. Um, as you are watching, one of the feathers burns up completely. Ow! God! In a quick flash. Ah! She didn't say this was like a time bomb? Ow! Wait, was that like her spirit like leaving this earth? The feather going away? Who's this other feather then? What, what if it's like a countdown? It's probably Mr. Bones. Mr. Bones, is this you? <laughs> I, nope, I'm not. I was human. I don't know much about the Undar itself. Oh. Uh, Mr. Bones, I'm sorry you lost your friend. I mean, I lost a lover, but okay. <laughs> oh, my. I'm sorry you lost your wife. We learned We learned about sex yesterday. Oh, that's wonderful. I can teach you a thing about boning. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's disgusting. That's great. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I thought you guys could hang, but whatever. Um, no, no, no. I'll, that's cool. I'll make sure to... Make up where Miss Vanessa's absence We've is. We've got a lot of questions guys. for you. I'm sure, and I can explain as much as I can. Can we head back to the basement? Yes, <laughs> we should. With these dogs, we'll get them into town quicker than walking down the, down the freeway. Wait, yeah. what's closer? Darnell's house? Or... The school? Or, or, so where's Darnell's, Darnell's house? It's closer to you guys. We need school. to go take Pippin to Darnell's house. That's true, because he already paid us for the... <laughs> Okay, so let's do that. And maybe he'll know where to put all the other dogs. <laughs> or we could just put them in like the police station or something. I thought. No, let's give them to Darnell. Let's use yeah, the key. Let's to get give to them Darnell's. all the dogs. Let's get. Let's take. Use the key to get to Darnell's house. I don't know if it does that. We I should try. try. Do you remember what it looks like? You guys are nowhere near a door. Oh, yeah, it burned down. Right? <laughs> yeah. Oh god, we gotta oh. walk to Darnell's. Yeah, this is. Door- <laughs> that's actually funny. We go to the doorway and it's just like, oh, I don't think we can use this. Put the key in like the broken door <laughs> on the ground. Like, it's not working, guys. Okay, let's go to Darnell's house. Yeah. All right, so montage of you guys walking along the highway. And There's, like, get... some fun, like, folk music <laughs> yeah, playing. The exactly. dogs are, like, hopping all around. Yeah, you guys somehow have a good command of, like, 12 dogs um, and a couple of coyotes and wolves that were sucked in. They, they, they've had their journey. You know? <laughs> yeah. They understand that we're on a mission together. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you guys walk back to the residential neighborhood near the forest, and you're giving back all the dogs. The lady who owns putting three your, pools. Putting your hands in, like, the, near the coyote's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then you get a nice little scene of Darnell opening the door and hugging Pippin really tightly. Um, and, and then us ushering all the other dogs yeah. in his house. Like, <laughs> it's like, no! <laughs> no! no. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> Get out, please. I don't need this. This is not a hotel for dogs. <laughs> um, eventually, you guys you guys charge your cell phones at Darnell's house. Uh, Robo, Robocop calls his dad. Um, your dad calls animal control to deal with the rest of the dogs. Sorry, sorry I didn't go to the bar. Sorry. Yeah, I, was, I went... No, whatever. Yeah, it's, it's alright. Well, um, guys, uh, that was a pretty good job. We solved another case. And and opened up like a hundred more cases, like what just happened? That was like so much crazy stuff. Like everything I've ever like thought or believed is real, you know. I guess now it makes sense. All the weird stuff that's been happening to me. Yeah, or just in life in general. Like how long has this been happening? You know. Probably forever. Uh. Well, I guess we're going home now. Yeah, let's uh, let's go to the let's go to the basement. You yeah. want to go, Mr. Bones? Ah, uh, yeah, I'd love to. All right, well, let's uh, use Darnell's doorway you to guys, get to the basement. You guys want to play Smash? In the basement? Yeah. Did you did you bring <laughs> GameCube down there? I've got my Switch. It doesn't matter. Oh, <laughs> sweet. Right, let's uh, let's just relax. You got everything in that bag. I got, dude, I've got everything, including a crossbow. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys head back to the basement. Uh, you walk as Mr. Bones advises you not to use a magical doorway from Darnell's house <laughs> to the school. It's not too far. Uh, as you guys kind of relax and play some games. Um, deep somewhere else, on the other side of the Coconino Forest, you do see a large hole. Um, and in this large hole, we see a man kind of descend into this large hole. Um, as you just look here, no, he's just kind of walking down the rocks, uh, kind of hiking into this hole. As you hear a kind of ominous old song being hummed by this man. And that's where we'll end this session. Dun, 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 dun. Thank you for listening. And we'll be back with It Came from Lake Mary. Yeah, but those are the lava tubes, though. <laughs>
Okay, can we record that episode? <laughs> hey, this is Marcus from the Control Group. I just wanted to say thank you so much for listening. Follow us on Instagram or Twitter at, at Control Group Pod. That's at C T R L Group Pod. You can always comment, message, tweet to us if you want to suggest a game, say hi, reach out, whatever it is. We'd love to hear it. Okay, that's it. Thanks for listening.